What's going on you guys, Uncle Jesse here. This is Anycubic's new Eco Resin. That's right, this is supposed to be a plant-based resin that's biodegradable and a little bit just more friendly here for our environment and for you to print with. One of the very cool factors about working with this resin is that it doesn't really have any strong resin odor that you typically see with a lot of other resins. I'll be right up in front with everybody about this. I have no idea if this is technically safe for you or safe for the environment. All I know is it prints pretty nicely and I'm excited to be showing it to you guys today. But what I wanted to just recommend again is make sure to use the proper precautions when working with any resin, not just eco-friendly resin or your standard resin that you might be printing with. Gloves, respirators, proper disposal methods are all highly, highly recommended. And I really just wanna, again, stress that throughout this video, you'll see me using gloves anytime I'm interacting with the resin or my prints that are fresh out of the printer and before I've actually cured them. So I definitely do not want any sort of chemical burns. I don't know if that is gonna have any sort of strong reactions. Don't ask, I'm not gonna test that on myself. I will never be doing that. I had one resin accident a handful of months ago that left some burns on my skin. I'll have a link up above if you haven't already seen that video where I go into detail about just how to be a little bit safer when working with resins. But let's get on to this actual video. I'm very excited to share this with you guys because this is a very cool, just the colors of these resins are really cool. This is offered in six different colors and it looks like very vibrant colors. I have the macaroon pink and the macaroon yellow that I'll be working with here in this video, both of which are really nice. One thing I'll call out right now is that the yellow is just a little bit hard for me to pick up on video or within photos, but in person looks absolutely beautiful. The pink, on the other hand, is just fantastic. Also, as of right now, I believe this is only up and available on any Cubics website. It should be available, I'm assuming, up on Amazon here in the next week or so. It's right now priced at $50 for a 500 milliliter bottle or for a one liter bottle, which is what I'm working with here, it is $70. So a little bit more expensive than some of the other resins that you might find online. But again, the results are very nice. And again, it's supposed to have these nice eco properties, plant-based properties that it works with here. And I'll throw up something on screen here from their website that lists off some of those properties that again, I'm no scientist. I don't know any of these things in detail. I just like printing fun things and showing it off with you guys. By the way, this photo on their site, it cracks me up every time I see it. And before I show off some of the prints, I just wanted to call out, yes, this will work with other resin printers besides the Anycubic Photon. I printed also some of these prints here on the Elgu Mars as well, and they printed beautifully. I'll share my settings here on screen that I used for both printers. They're actually the same settings for both printers, and it just printed wonderfully with this new resin. All right, so first up are these quick test prints that I ran. This takes about two hours to run off and print. This is why I went and printed these particular files. Uh, you'll see here we've got some Lord of the Rings rings, the one ring here that have some beautiful supports laid out on them thanks to Chichu Box. And then this is the Amera Labs resin calibration testing file. It's just a way to get and see is your printer printing properly with some of the resins. I don't exactly know how to go into all the details of how this is properly set up. I just know that the results with the settings that I used here came out perfectly on this first attempt, which is exactly what I was hoping for with the settings that I was using. I'm sure someone out there is gonna be able to tweak these settings and further improve upon them, but for right now, this looks pretty darn good. Now let's get those out of here. Next up, I wanna try something that was a little bit larger. These are the Yondu minifigures by Wexter. He makes these amazing miniature character bean-like figures. And this was one of his most recent creations, which was Yondu. He actually has two versions of this file, one with the arrow whizzing all around him and one without, I opted in here to go with the one without. One thing you'll notice here on the yellow print is there is a streak of gray within that print. And that's because I did not properly clean out my vat. 
before pouring in this yellow resin. I had some leftover gray resin in the vat and it seeped into the actual print here. I thought I had cleaned it all out, but apparently there was some tucked away in one of the corners. So you wanna make sure you have this really nice and clean. Here, this really helps highlight some of the difficulties that I have showing off the yellow print here, just on screen for you guys, the pink picks up the details and just visually shows them so much clearer. Uh, I actually love them both in person, but I really, really dig the color of the pink. One other thing that I wanted to call out is that this resin after it's cured is very soft. It's like a very soft to the touch resin. It's not tacky, it's just, it's soft. It's very uh, it's very interesting compared to some of the other resins that I've worked with that have that really hard plastic feel to it. This has almost, it feels like a little bit of a texture to it, a soft texture to it. I'll for sure be attempting to paint some of these here to see how those results look. But for now, it's very, very interesting to play around with and see. And by the way, when it comes straight out of the printer, it does have a little bit of flex to it. It definitely does not now that it's cured, but right out of the printer, it was easily able to flex some of the parts or some of the supports directly off of the prints. Next up is this great Mumra file that was created by Photos Mint and is actually both of these files, both the Yondu and Mumra, are available on both uh, Wexkers and Photos Mint's Patreon page. That's where I got these. I'm a Patreon supporter for both of those guys. Absolutely love their designs and creations. This Mumra file, as you see here, needed a good bit of supports. The Yondu was required no supports whatsoever, which is very, very cool. But with Mumra, I really wanted to go with something that was a little bit more of a miniature style figure to give you guys some perspective on that and how supports would interact with this. So I took one that was all cleaned up and one that is uh, still left on its supports there. I also have Yondu behind this yellow one because I cannot get him to stand up on his own properly. I need something to tack his feet down. All right, now you guys wanna see something really cool? This right here is a multi-piece Thor statue by Dennis Casarino. I, God, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm sure I'm butchering his name there, but I found this gentleman over on the Instagrams and he has this amazing, Thor statue model that you can pick up that he sells and it printed beautifully here on both the Anycubic Photon and the Elgu Mars in this beautiful pink eco resin. I printed this at 100% scale on both of these machines and it comes out once it's fully assembled to about 10 inches tall. There are multiple pieces that make this up. So we have the base, the legs, there is the front and back loin cloth, I guess is what you could call it. You have the upper torso, you have the top of the hammer, and the bottom little uh, grip leather piece there that would go hanging at the bottom of the actual handle. This file is so dang nice to work with and print with. Highly recommend this. Uh, it's just a beautiful piece and I'm super excited about this. I am thinking I'm going to attempt to paint this guy in an upcoming video. I have not painted a statue or a figure in quite a while and this is honestly probably one of the best ones that I can pick and attempt to actually go off and paint. It's just a fantastic print and it printed beautifully in this new eco resin. So if you're interested in checking out this eco resin from Anycubic, I'll have links down below to their site where you can check that out. Again, uh, make sure when working with any resin to be using the proper precautions, respirators, gloves, well-vented uh, areas that you're gonna be working in, etc. cetera. Uh, you definitely don't wanna get any of these things in your mouth or anything like that and make sure that you're disposing of them properly. If anybody is much smarter than I am, and I'm sure there's lots of you out there that wanna dig into this and find out more, I believe there's info on the Inacubic site with more details on the resin and its properties and all of that fun stuff that's involved with that. Again, I just wanted to test this out, show you guys some fun prints with this. And if you're interested in any of these files, I'll have links to them down below or to their Patreons or to this gentleman's Instagram, etc. Hey, I just wanna say thanks again for watching you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what you think and I'll see you next time. Bye now.